So Bioware just slapped up a blog post yesterday and casually, at the very end, dropped a little sentence about, oh yeah, next month we're announcing the launch date for uh, Dragon Age The Veil Guard. Now, because they dropped it on the 31st, it's like, so does that mean August? Because they say next month, it's got to mean August. So does that mean we're getting a release date drop this month? It kind of sounds like it to me. Um, I'm excited about this. Um, it's actually a pretty big uh, newsletter, so let's go ahead and browse through it. I said newsletter. It's a blog post up on their website. I'll have a link down below, by the way, uh, for those of you who want to go read it in full because we're just kind of kind of skim read through it because um, I want to get to the end and show you guys the announcement because that was the thing that, that pinged me. And it was like, <laughs> way to go, guys. Like You just sneak it in there at the end because you, you knew someone would find it. Um, anyway, uh, it's a big update. Let's go through it. Coffee, it's early. It's like 5 a.m. my time. Unveiling the Veil Guard, cast of characters detailed at San Diego Comic-Con. So one of the big things that has come out in like the last couple of weeks, I, I think it was about two weeks ago when it was the first one came out, um, they started doing these big drops around the cast. Um, and there was the voice cast announcement, and then since then there's just been lots of different uh, interviews and snippets coming out with the various members of the uh, voice cast team and all those cast members. Um, and then the most recent interview I watched, which is getting put up, I think, well, I'm airing this day. I think it's later today, actually. It, I already pre-recorded it, but I think it's, it's coming out today, was with the game director and the motion capture director or voice actor director. Um, I forget which one it is. But she was there with the game director of Dragon Age: The Veil Guard and gave like a detailed discussion about things. Uh, so if you if you get a chance to watch that one, that's going to be later on today. Don't forget to check that out. Uh, but um, they've got a bunch of photos in here of the team assembled. It says here, um, dun, 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 dun. highlight of the week was the panel we hosted on Friday, featuring some of our cast of companions who shared new insights into their characters and revealed even more lore about Dragon Age: The Veil Guard. Um, it says we also joined our partners at Dark Horse, Dark Horse on the show floor for fan signings, giveaways, cosplay, photo shoots, and more. Um, then Wednesday night at the Dark Horse booth, there was an opening and giveaway. Dun, 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 dun. Friday was the panel on Dragon Age Meet the Heroic Companions of the Veil Guard, featuring Zach Mendez as Lucanus, Jessica Clark as Nev, Nick Borain as Emric, Ali Hills as Harding, and highlighted the heart of every Dragon like Dragon Age title, the Companions. Um, okay, and then Creative Director John appear. And here, this is her. So this is Creative Performance Director Ashley Barlow. So the that's her name, Ashley, um, and she's the Creative Director, Creative Performance Director. Um, so uh, the interview later on is with her and John Epler. I'm not good with names, so um, it's a really good deep dive i like deep dives man but that's just because i spent 10 years in game dev so I, I like listening to game devs talk about stuff um we kind of know a little bit about the story yeah we, we i'm familiar with all the spiel about companions um they've been hyping this up which is there's nothing wrong with them hyping this up um it's their job but, you know, we've had some people, we've seen some statements made about how these companions are going to be like the best in the franchise. And I'm like, ooh, that's a high bar. That is a high bar to obtain. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm saying I have extremely fond memories of Alistair and Morgan in the first game and meeting Varric for the first time. Varric is, is one of those companions that has stood out over the years, kind of like Garrick in... Um, Mass Effect, like there are characters that that stand out from time to time. There's some, but Bioware has also created those characters, so I have confidence that they can do it. But it's a bold claim. It is a bold claim. Um, so there's more information here um, about the cast stuff. Um, say so the first up, they talked to Zach Mendez, um, who voices Lucanus. Is it Lucanus or Lucanus? I think it's Lucanus. Being an assassin is his only job identified to be excellent. It says, as soon as Zack was cast, he deep dove into the Dragon Age 
into Dragon Age and read everything he got his hands on. He did it all to create the depth of character you can really feel, says Barlow. He's a comedian. He could easily find the humor in anything Lucanus was saying. It's something to remind him he's a deadly assassin and to stay bloodthirsty. But I think he found his cool way of hiding the light in the darkness. That's kind of interesting. Um, I think that when you're looking at the extended materials, we were talking about this in the stream the other day. I've never, never read any of the novels or the comics. I am only familiar with Dragon Age from the video games. Um, this despite the fact that I'm a fantasy author and I read tons of fantasy um, and sci-fi. Um, but I've never read these. It's kind of like with Star Wars. I haven't read any of the books or the comics since like 98, 99, somewhere in there. It's probably more like 99. Um, but anyway... More information on all the cast interviews and stuff here for those of you who really want to get up to speed on everything they're doing as long as as long along with as long as along with a great collage of shots from the panel. Um, and they each give some insight into the characters that they're playing. Um, and of course, we have the photo op stuff here. Some sweet artwork, man. I, I miss going to cons. I haven't been to con and. I think 2017 was the last time I went to a conference. Um, and that was because I was uh, there speaking at it. Um, so all, there's all this stuff on everything. And then we get down to the very end. <laughs> it's literally in the section called photo ops. It's like at the very end of the, of the news of the blog post, right? <laughs> and you would think that it's a statement about photo ops because it's called photo ops. So just this is what made me laugh so much. Our panel ended uh, with a crowd Q&A, but San Diego Comic-Con was just getting started. Our team spent the rest of the week at giving away posters and exclusive Discord pins, signing posters, and of course meeting fans out on the show floor. Footage of the full panel should be available in a couple of weeks, which is going to be awesome. We're going to be waiting to see it. So for now, we hope you enjoy these photos of our favorite San Diego Comic-Con moments. We'll have more to share next month, including a new roadmap, more looks at the game, and our official release date, exclamation point. So don't forget to follow our Bioware and Dragon Age social channels. Dash the Dragon Age community team. So. I love that. I love the way this was inserted in there. It's like, so you're reading this huge post all about the Comic-Con and all the cast and all the cool photos and everything. And just at the very end, last sentence, release date next month. So. Um, sometime in August, we should be getting release date information from Bioware on Dragon Age the Veil Guard, and I am here for it. Um, I wonder, I just, we just have to wait and see. Um, just have to wait and see. I'm on board for whatever it happens. I will make it happen. I, I was thinking about this the other day. I was talking to, I forget who I was talking to, but we were joking about it. It's like, I don't care. If, like, Dragon Age the Veil Guard and Avowed happened at the same time, I would be so screwed because I need to go all in on both of those games. And that's a hard decision to make. Do you go all in and do both at the same time? That's a little daunting. I don't think I could realistically do that without um, just as a one-man show. There's too much video editing to be done. Um, I could really only do one at a time. I would have to pick. That would suck. I don't need that stress. Do it Do it in September. September would be awesome. October would be awesome. I think both those months, I think I think the rumored date for Avowed right now is in, and again, nobody, I'm not going to say it. Let's just say there's a rumored a, a rumored date for um, that, that Bioware accidentally put up on their website that was immediately deleted. That is for later in the year. And as long as this doesn't overlap, I'll be fine. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, everybody. Daily streams at 11 a.m. I'll be playing the crap out of this game. Hopefully you're on board for that. See you next time.